fight played a major, a major, major, was very, very important. Um, but my most important fight of my career was number 48. Number 48. I mean, even though every fight played a major key, it's just that, you know, everyone else said that Pacquiao was the guy. Floyd Mayweather was ducking and dodging. Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather was a coward. Man, I just, you know, you know, I, you know, just like I do when I'm in the ring. I bob and I bob, I bob and win. And then everyone said what they had to say. I went out there, I'm done when I had to do. No matter how I won, as long as I win. Why Andre Berto for number 49? What intrigued you about this um, matchup? He's always in an exciting fight. If you get knocked down, get right back up. If the shoulder is torn, he continue to fight. Um, Good knockout ratio. Came for two-time world champion. And um, I only can judge a man off his last fight. In his last fight, he got a knockout. And he's been looking this like to me. Floyd, now that you have perspective on what happened for that Mayweather Pacquiao fan, what did it mean to you personally as the athlete to not only go through that experience, but get the dominant win that you got over a guy like Manny Pacquiao? Um, I just think that, you know, um, so much hype on him. I have held my end of the bargain. Um, no excuses. You know, if, to say if, I came up short, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can cry or complain about. You know, when I, when you, when I can go out there and make somewhere upwards of 300 million in 36 minutes, I'm blessed. Um, we've done record-breaking numbers. Um, I'm happy. You know, um, I have held my end of the bargain. My job, I always go out there. You know, as far as when, you, when you're older, you, you know, it's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. And we believe in taking less punishment. We don't believe in taking no punishment. And um, if we can keep a guy on the outside, we're going to beat him on the outside. If we got to beat him in the inside, we're going to beat him in the inside. We're going to do whatever we have to do to be victorious. Because Floyd Mayweather is a winner when it's all said and done. Do you feel that enough credit was given to you for that win? Because I know it was overshadowed a bit with the injury and all that. What injury? That uh, Manny had. <laughs> Uh, you, you sound like a comedian. <laughs> uh, I don't worry about that. You know, it's just but like you feel people are giving say, you your props, you right? Know, no, I just look at it like this. They say, I think your, your I think your biggest fighters in the sport of boxing is Canelo, right? Pacquiao, Cotto, and Mayweather. So if I beat them, I already beat all the top guys in this world. And I've been doing this from, from day one. So there's no one else to fight. You gotta realize, we look in the junior middleweight division, and we look in the waterweight division. Um, there's only one person that stands out alone before we make one. So I feel that I can choose who I want to choose to fight. But I don't, I don't feel that we give Birdo enough credit. A guy can have his eyes closed, he's gonna continue to fight. A guy can get knocked down, he's gonna hop up, he's gonna continue to fight. He can be down on the scorecards, he can continue to give it 100%. And that's what we do. Speaking of, on that subject, not giving enough credit to Berto, what would you say to a fan that were to come up to you and say, hey, Floyd, you know, Berto's 3-3 three and three in his last six fights. Some other guys like Thurman or Namir Khan deserve this fight a lot more than him. Why does it have to be pay-per-view? Why can't it be a free fight? I say that only can judge a man off his last performance and his last fight. Marquez could have lost his last fight. But you know what? They don't remember him for, the, for what he did in the Pacquiao fight. So, you know, I can't, I'm only going to judge Berto off his last fight. He did the same thing to Lopez that Cotto, I mean that Canelo did. He handled the job just like Canelo did. 
So I don't even judge a man off his last performance. And he gave it 100%. And, and the grade I gave him was an A.